Hi friends, this is Ramana. Today I will show demo on how to add data in multiple Excel sheets and load into SQL table in SSIS. So first I will show my data. The Excel sheet name is country.xlsx. So it contains two sheets, Asia and Europe. Structure and data is similar in both these Excel workbook. So ID and name. So it can, in Asia there are two countries are there and in Europe also we have two countries. So if we see data looks like identical. Okay, I want to load this all these rows into one table. This is my country underscore table which have the same columns ID and name. I want to load the data from the two sheets into the country underscore table. For that there are two options are there. First by using for each loop container. For each loop container. And second one by writing the SQL command in the source. SQL command in Excel source. Adding for, for each loop, adding data by using for each loop container. I already made one video. So today in this demo, I will show how to add the data from multiple Excel sheets and load into tables by using SQL command in Excel. So this is my new package. So while using the for each loop container, we need to create variables and use to select the for each edio dot for each edio dot net schema rosset enumerator. This is helpful to add the multiple to read the multiple data from the excel sheets in one excel book excel workbook i am using now just writing the sql command so for that i am data flow task so here you need to drag the excel source double click so here go to new and browse the file where it is located so this is my country dot xlsx i am selecting that file click OK. So here in data access mode instead of selecting the name of the access sheet I am selecting the SQL command. SQL command. I need to write command to load the data. So select ID comma name ID comma name from you know, uh, we already seen there are two sheets, Asia and Europe, right? So I am selecting the name as Asia. Asia is the name and with dollar symbol and close the parenthesis. Next, union all. I am using the union all and select one more select statement and change the uh, table name as Europe. So I am considering each sheet as one table by adding the data by using the set operator called union R. Okay. If you go and check the preview, so you will see in Asia sheet there are two country names and as well as in Europe sheet also there are two country names. Go and check your mapping. Now, I am dragging the OLDB destination. So, since I want to load the data into the SQL table, my table name is country underscore table, I am taking the OLDB destination. Double click, go to new, test database, I am taking the test database and click OK. And select the table which you want here. So, country underscore TBL is my table name. And go to mappings. No need to do any manual mapping and click OK. Once again, make sure there is no data in this country underscore TPL. Once after running the package, you need to see four into this table, each from one Excel, one Excel sheet, that is two from Asia and two from Europe. Yeah, see here. From Excel to OLDB distribution, 4 rows are moved. You 
go and check your table. Whatever we seen in the Excel sheet, in Asia there are two countries, in Europe also there are two countries, along with the IDs. So this is how you need to load the data, uh, load the data from the multiple Excel sheets into the SQL table using SQL command in the SQL source. This is the also one of the options and this is also one of the options. Okay. This is the more dynamic when compared to the SQL command. Thanks for watching the video. Thank you very much.